Pilates A to Z for all fitness levels. Airplane. Leaning forward with your arms to the side and one leg back, you're going to balance all of your body weight on one foot. Just holding this still for 10 seconds is perfect for a beginner. If you're advanced, go ahead and add pulses like I'm doing. Keep them small, tight, precise movements. You don't want a huge range of motion on the 10 pulses. Bend and snap. This is great for balance, but it's also adding rowing. Good for shoulders and arms. As you lean forward, keep your back leg off the ground. If you feel like you're gonna fall, go ahead and put your weights, tap them to the ground just to get your balance back in check, and then stand up and row. Again, you're gonna do 10 per side and go at your own pace, slow and controlled. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Switch legs if you haven't. Circles out. As you circle your arms out, actually bring your arms wider. By the time you get to 10, your arms should be as wide as your shoulders. Circles in. Same thing in reverse. Circle in and bring your arms in. Drop and give me 10. A plank is the best full body exercise. If you can't do a push up, just hold a plank. If you can do a proper form push-up, this is when you're going to give me 10 of those. Keep your abs tight. Keep your gaze forward. Early to bed, early to rise. This is our yoga burst. Down dog, one leg up, swing it forward to a runner's lunge, and bring your hands high for warrior one. Alternate legs. You're going to do a total of 10. That's five per leg. Make sure your knee stays behind the toe on the runner's lunge. Keep your hips low on the warrior one and get a good stretch on the down dog. This is a great whole body exercise. If you're not into yoga, hey, it's just 10 reps. You can do anything for 10 reps. If you are into yoga, this one should be a breeze for you. Forward lifts. Beginners, just keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. More advanced, go ahead and lift up onto your tippy toes as you bring your arms forward. Also bring your hands to the side, shoulder height. Alternating, forward and side. Forward and side, this is working the shoulders. If you lift your heels with every rep, it's also working the ankles. Go. Team, go. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Go. Team, go. This is great for the deltoids. And again, depending on what weights you choose, it's going to make the exercise harder or easier. But either way, you wanna keep the movements precise and with purpose. Meaning, don't use momentum and flail your arms around. Do short, controlled moves. Go, 
team, go. High kick. You're going to reach your opposite arm to the opposite leg, hinging at the hips, not leaning your upper body forward. Keep your torso nice and tall. This should get your oblique while also working arms and legs. inner thigh crunches. You want to hold a deep plie squat. The lower your butt is, the harder this is going to be on your legs. Lean to the side, crunch forward, lean to the other side, crunch forward. Crunch and lean and crunch. This is another two for one. We're getting legs and we're getting core. We're also getting arms because you're holding your weights up high. Excellent whole body exercise. Jumping bean. This is a great cardio burst. Do not use your hands to push yourself off the ground. Roll like a ball, stand up, or roll like a ball, jump up. The choice is yours. If you can't get off the ground without using your hands, then just skip that second half of the exercise and just roll like a ball. But if you hate doing cardio at the gym, this is a great way to get a little burst of cardio in without using 30 minutes on the machine. It gets your heart rate up. Kick it to the curb. Keeping your weights to one side of the leg, flex the opposite foot and lift as high as you can. As you lower the leg back down, try not to touch the ground unless you feel like you're gonna fall. Try to keep it hovered, slow and control lift, and you control the speed on the way down. Don't let gravity pull your leg down. So this is great for the outer thigh and the whole leg. Try not to lean to the opposite side of the leg that's moving. Low lunges. Keep one knee bent at about a 90 degree angle. Tuck the other knee in while slowly raising the weights. You're gonna do that 10 times until your hands are as high as you can get them. Then keep them there and switch legs. Now with every pulse in the opposite leg, you're gonna lower the weights just a few inches. It should take about 10 pulses to get the weights back down to the ground. Meet me at the bar. This is great for balance, but again, it's also legs. Putting one ankle at the opposite knee, sit into an invisible chair. Hold that for about 10 counts, and then switch sides. This is great to strengthen your ankles, work your hip flexor, and your quads. Never hold your pee. We're right in the middle of the alphabet, so we're gonna start stretching. With one foot in front of the other, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips and stretch the tendon in the back of the back leg. Switch, put the opposite foot over the other leg and hinge forward. You're gonna find that you have one leg that's tighter than the other and that's totally normal. Open up your chest. There's so many things we do throughout the day that creates forward shoulders. So we wanna make sure you open up the chest and really stretch those shoulders back. Pigeon is great for the hips. 
Um, if you're a beginner at pigeon, just hold it there. If you're a bit more advanced, you can go into pretty pigeon, which is where you're going to grab the back foot with your hand and reach forward with the opposite hand. Hold that for about 10 counts. Switching legs. Reach for your back foot and reach forward with your opposite hand. Really make sure you're stretching your extremities in the opposite direction so that in between your shoulders is getting the stretch. Quick twists, grab your free weights. Keeping your hips and gaze forward, you're gonna twist your torso like you're wringing out a wet rag. Quick twists, but still keep intention behind the move. After 10 sets, rock the boat. This is great for the obliques. Lean to one side, then the other. Like your rib cage is high-fiving your hip bone. Scissor kicks. You're going to land your back. Straightening your legs, alternate. Sitting on your hands is gonna make it a little bit easier. You could hold your weights a few inches off the ground to make it harder. Advanced, please keep your head lifted. Beginners can rest your head for teaser. This is also abs. Reach your hands forward and hold for 10 counts. Up, up, down, down. This is a great cardio burst here. Don't use your hands to push yourself off the ground. Holding your weights up high. Up, up, down, down. You're going to do 10 sets leading with one leg and then 10 sets leading with the other leg. Anything that gets your heart rate elevated is considered cardio. This may not look like your typical form of cardio, but I assure you, your heart rate will be elevated when you're done, and it is cardio. V, ups, this is abs. Reaching your extremities long, crunch up right at your hips, keeping your hands high and your legs forward. Exhale, crunch, inhale, lower. If your abs aren't strong enough for this, keep your back flat on the ground and still lift your arms, head, and legs. W, it's like a wide V up. As you open your legs, bring your hands forward. This is easier than the V ups because as your hands go forward, it's helping you do the crunch. But because your legs are now opening, it's harder on the lower body. Exhale, crunch, inhale on the lower. X marks the spot. You're gonna go into a side plank. Advance is one hand, one foot, and hold for 10 counts, or you can crunch your elbow to knee. If you're a beginner, you can choose to come down on one knee and keep your hand where it is, or come down on one forearm and keep your foot where it is. Switch sides, and remember, just holding the X is gonna be um, enough for some people. But if you want more of a challenge, then tuck your elbow to the knee 10 times.
Really squeeze that oblique. Y in the sky, it's just like it sounds. Inhale up, exhale lower. Keeping your head and arms lifted for advance. If you're a beginner, you can rest your head and tuck your hands under your butt. And finally, zigzag, keeping your feet and ankles tight, legs straight, zigzag across, back and forth, and back up. And that's it. You did it. Pilates A through Z. Excellent job.